Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, I am in the garage. I am slowly cleaning it out now that I am up here in Michigan. Uh, it will never be the dedicated man cave uh, that I had, the man shed down the, that I had down in Texas, but it's a work in progress. Um, we're gonna do a, just a quick pickups video uh, since I haven't one, done one of those in a long time. Uh, uh, got a, a whole host of weird stuff and uh, a real surprising find. I'm um, going to start with uh, the games. Uh, for the PlayStation picked up this, it's The Bombing Islands. And uh, looked at it, uh, have not played it yet just because I haven't dug out my, my PlayStation 2 and uh, my PlayStation 3 currently isn't hooked up, so I have no way to play this right now. I look forward to giving that a shot though. Uh, I picked it up for $1.57. Uh, it is complete, has the, all the parts there. Cracked case though, so. Xbox games, I don't, I have one in the house that I didn't bring out because I think I've already showed it to you guys. Uh, but picked up two that I had been missing and was glad I was able to track them down. Did not pay, uh, this one was $2.52. Uh, Elder Scrolls three Morrowind. Uh, for some reason I didn't have this one. I have Oblivion and I have Skyrim, but I didn't have Morrowind, so now I do. Uh, this is the Game of the Year edition, so it's got Morrowind, Tribunal, and Blood Moon. Uh, so I'm gonna start playing this uh, a little bit over time. Uh, probably throw some videos up now and again, uh, just because it, in all Elder Scrolls games, there's just random things that happen, and that's the beauty of it. The other one that I have not played and uh, it, one, another one for $2.52 is Indigo Prophecy. Now, I've played uh, some of the other Quantic Dream games, and I really like the ones that I've played. I've heard good things about this one from people that have similar tastes to me. So I'm going to go ahead and play this one as well. Uh, I don't know how long that is, but it is one of those that I hope uh, it ends up being as good, even though I'm going backwards, so it might not be. A uh, game that I picked up again, because I picked it up once, and I played it, and then I thought, ah, I'm done with it, and then I got rid of it. And now, five, seven years later, I decided to pick it up again, and that is Elite Beat Agents. I loved this game the first time I got it. I got it when I was in Texas and we were going to uh, Shreveport where there are casinos. I have Gambler's Guild, which means I don't like, like as soon as I, if I put like $10 down and I don't win, I feel horrible. So my wife and I made an agreement. We would each take X amount of dollars and then do whatever we wanted with it. So she took money, went to the casino, had a great time at the casino. I went to Best Buy and bought video games. And this one I got just because I, I had seen weird things about it and looked like it's gonna be fun. Plus I'm gonna have my PS3 hooked back, back up here soon. Uh, but this is Inversion. And this is, uh, if I remember right, it's a first person shooter that you can kind of change gravity on and move around. Uh, I'm usually not into first person shooters, but this has, it sounded like a cool enough gimmick or, or feature that I want to give this one a shot. Uh, a DVD, so uh, I have two more things at the, the end, so you can just kind of skip ahead if you want to see the last couple video games. I've got a bunch of other random stuff. Uh, but I picked this, I watched this on Sci-Fi one year and really liked it and found it for a dollar, so picked up Immortal and I can't even begin to explain this movie, but for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. Um, I also, I, I go in cycles, as some of you know. So I, I, like for two weeks, I will like watch movies and then two weeks I will read books and then two weeks I will play video games and it kind of goes in that cycle. Uh, but uh, the, a lot of the thrift stores up here, they have uh, a lot of books. Uh, I was not, down in, down in Texas there was, it was kind of a limited selection. They had more 
more, uh, what are they called, bric-a-brac. More just random stuff that you kind of put on a shelf. Uh, but they're the one of the places that I go, the paperbacks are three for a dollar fifty. So for a dollar fifty, I uh, picked up three of the Alias books. Uh, my wife and I watched the Alias series, and uh, I was in the military at the time, so I had some problems with it. But I've kind of gotten over that now. Uh, so I've got three of the Alias books. Gonna give those a shot and probably let her read them as well. She reads super fast, so she'll probably be done with those in a couple hours. Um, controllers. Let's go ahead and get these guys out of the way. All right, so uh, picked up an Xbox controller. Uh, it was, I believe, a grand total of like 69 cents. No, a uh, dollar one. So it was dollar one. It doesn't have the end on it but I have some spare of those, so I'm not terribly concerned. That and if nothing else, I can actually, if I really wanted to, I can splice it into uh, just a USB controller if I actually needed a USB controller for that. Uh, also for a dollar one, picked up a Super Nintendo controller because you can always use more of these. Um, I found out this one does not rattle, which means, I found out, by the way, uh, if, your Nintendo controller, Super Nintendo controller ever rattles, more than likely what it is is that this cable in here comes in here and snakes around. There's a peg in there that normally gets broken. And that's normally what that rattling noise is. But this one doesn't do it, which means it's in good shape. Uh, also, for $1.51, picked up a Wave Bird. Now, it doesn't have the connection side, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick one of those up uh, on the cheap. But I'm hoping so, because the WaveBird is when I got rid of my when I got rid of the GameCube, getting rid of the WaveBird was the saddest thing. And now that I've got uh, two working GameCubes, uh, I want to get enough of these going uh, up and running. Um, I also picked up for a dollar ninety-five a multi-tap. Uh, this one is it's the the one where the PlayStation 2 fat sits in there. It's got the little cord. And I just really liked that one. Uh, also picked up uh, two, an S-Video and another S-Video adapter. And these are the multi every which way thing. This is for the GameCube and the, and then this is for the PlayStation and then that's for the Xbox. So now I've got I've got a TV behind me, actually right, you can just see the top of it. It's got an S-Video, uh, so now I'll be able to hook that up to that and have the best picture on this big CRT TV. As some of you may know, um, I hate the Game Gear. I just flat out don't like it. But for 95 cents, I could not pass this up just because it, I had never seen it before. It is the Game Genie for the Game Gear, and it's got a little... A little booklet hiding in there and I have no clue if it works but it was it's just weird enough that I I looked at it and had to had to snag it books that I got uh, I have been playing games for a long time I've also been playing uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons was the one that I cut my teeth on also Marvel and one of the ones that I was introduced to in the army was uh, Shadowrun so I picked up, uh, I walked in one day and there were just six sitting there. So for $3, started a good chunk into the Shadowrun library. Two more things. The first one is something that I haven't seen anybody do a review on, so I figured I would pick it up and be the guinea pig. That and it was on sale, it was on clearance, 50% off. So from the time that we saw Skylanders, a lot of my friends and I have been going, oh, wow, wouldn't it be awesome if they did that with Transformers? Well, boom. Uh, so this is not Skylanders, it's not exactly, but this is the Beanbox game system. So this is uh, basically what it is, is. It's got a little Optimus Prime down there, and it's got a controller, and you put Optimus Prime in the thingy, and then you go, and then it goes onto the screen. Now, whether this is good at all, I don't know, but it's made for kids, so I'm not expecting a whole lot, but I believe this whole thing was like 15 bucks or 
10, 10, 15 bucks, something like that. Um, but I'm gonna see more on this later on. And the last thing I was real shocked by, uh, and just because I walked in there and there's a, a Game Boy Advance and stuff for $5.99. Now, Game Boy Advance alone, I would be like, oh, that's awesome. But let me show you all the, the goofy stuff that it came with. So it came with a carrying case, which is a SpongeBob carrying case, uh, which I was like, oh, cool. Because my, my son loves SpongeBob, I do as well. Uh, came with a SpongeBob game case, which is really weird because these are big. I guess you can put two in there. All right. Anyways, of course it comes with the charger, a fun little adapter with Squidward and Spongebob and Patrick and, and had the headphones and this weird lanyard thing and it's got a magnifier and then of course we get to the actual Game Boy Advance SP. Now, uh, I've done a little bit of research and found that uh, this was a limited edition and it's the Spongebob version, uh, of course. It is uh, an AGS 101, which means it's the good backlight version uh, and it works. So you can, of course, see that. I don't have a game in there right now, but... And it was just a really cool find, especially for... I mean, it's worn on the corners. You can see there's a little bit of white there and white there bleeding through. But um, these seem to run anywhere from $20 up to $60 uh, uh, on eBay. And just don't even look at Amazon because that's ridiculous. But I thought this was really cool. Uh, I'm, I can't decide whether I should sell this and then use that money to buy more stuff or if I should keep this because it's really cool and sell off uh, one of my just normal uh, Game Boy Advances or just keep them all. Uh, I'll probably keep them all. But uh, that is it for me. Uh, I will have uh, more videos coming up. Um, I, I feel I am done with the Nintendo 64. I, I've done n as many of the games as I think I can do quickly. Uh, most of the rest of the ones uh, that I haven't shown uh, take too long to get into. So that's why I've, I've hit a stumbling block there. That and I tried to do a, a keep it or not of Superman 64 and that game is just utter crap. It's not, it's not fun. It doesn't work. I think I do need, I do need to do a video on it just to kind of get it out of my system. Uh, but that's it for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!